it's another night. It's another opportunity to taste some whiskey. Oh, it's tight. Oh, that did not make the right sound, but that's because this is water, cold water. And I'm clumsy today. Gonna try some whiskey this evening. Put this water away for now. And have a sip. What I have tonight is the Canadian whiskey. Surprise, surprise. It is the Weiser's 15 year old. It has some dust on the top because it was under my bar for a while. It is now, for me, the 15th of February, and but you're into March already. This is pre-recorded. Um, I bought this 17th of May, January, February, March, April, 17th of May, 2018. And I might as well tell you right now, it cost me with all taxes and everything, $50.69. That includes the $43.99 price tag at the BC Liquor Store, the 10 cent bottle deposit, the $4.40 provincial liquor tax, and $2.20 goods and services tax, $50.69. So what do you get for 50 bucks? You get a 15 year old Canadian whiskey. Now let's see if I can get this open. Of course, they have to make this childproof. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this plastic coating cover thing. All right, now I think I'm on the way now. Uh, you know, you could hurt yourself doing this. Oh, I think I got it now. I think I'm on the inside track. Oh yeah. Here comes the plastic right off. And no, if anyone thinks I'm drunk, that I can't get this open, it's not true. I'm stone cold sober. This is my first whiskey of the day. Or the evening, shall we say. That was good. Now let's pour a drama of this 15 year old Weiser's. I'm expecting it to be quite mild and quite smooth, quite easy drinking. That's just a prediction. Okay. Before I smell the taste, it says here, a complex whiskey with a hint of spice, rye spice. Quality is something you just can't rush. And Canadian whiskey, Canadien, 40% alcohol by volume, 750 mils. Yeah, international symbol on the back. I already told you how much it cost, $50.69. I don't know how much it would cost now, but... There are no mysteries here. This is just Canadian whiskey, and it's 15 years old. Mm. It has that sweet corn right from the get-go. Sweet corn. And with that sweet corn, I am getting some rye spice already on the nose. But a lot of corn sweetness. So this is mostly corn whiskey. Probably ex-bourbon barrels. It does not say on the bottle. The bottle did not come in a box. Pleasant. 
I'm getting corn sweetness. I'm getting some of that rice spice. Some caramel. Toffee. There's a It's 40%. I don't expect very thick or slow moving legs. No, they shoot right down pretty much. The nose is very pleasant. There's some kind of a, uh, I don't know, dill. I'm getting some dill on the nose too. That dill no doubt comes from the rye. The rye that is part of the blend. The question is, is the rye older than the corn? Or is it also 15 years old, just like the corn? Because as you may or may not know, Canadian whiskey is usually aged first, separately, and then blended together. So this is a blend of rye, whiskey and corn whiskey. I don't know if there's any barley whiskey in here. Malted. It's mostly corn sweetness that I'm getting, like I said before. And some spice from the rye and dill. Dill. Not getting a lot of malt at all. Just the sweetness and the dill. A little bit of toffee note. I'm going to taste this now. This might be a really good whistle letter, a place to start and calibrate your palate before moving on to stronger things. Mm. Yeah, it is more spicy than your average Canadian whiskey. A little more spicy. Some of that spice could also be coming from the wood. Very mouth-watering. Let's go for a second sip. Even after I I had a sip of water, I'm still getting spices on the sides of the of, of the mouth. It's quite coating. Oh yes, this has quite a bit more spice than what you would get in, say, a Weiser's Deluxe or a Weiser's Special Blend, or even a Weiser's Small Batch. But it also has a lot more of that corn sweetness, too. There's the corn sweetness. There's the dill, there's the rye. Take another sip. The mouthfeel is kind of watery. It's not very viscous. But on the taste, there's a lot of flavor. On the palate, there's a lot of flavor. 
there's the corn sweetness, there's some caramel, there is some vanilla, some toffee notes, but the rye, the spiciness that's coming from the wood and the rye and the taste of dill, well, I get more dill on the nose. On the palate, I'm just getting spiciness. So it's spicy on the sides of the mouth. I'm not getting anything on the tongue anymore. It's quite dry. Um, there's a spicy finish on the sides of the tongue that seems to hang on a little while, but nothing on the tip or the top of the tongue. Just a spicy aftertaste. That's a little bit astringent and spicy. I'm still getting spicy, 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 spicy. Nice, not bad. There are worse things out there for $50 Canadian, believe me. Yeah, a lot of rye. This is a high rye content. It's got just enough spice, just enough complexity. It's rather nice. It's definitely a step up from the small batch or the Weiser's uh, special blend or the deluxe and it should be because it costs twice the price for twice the price you also get a real cork and a fancy square bottle yeah this is a nice one Some people may poo-poo this stuff, but it's got a lot more spice than what I remember from the 18. The Weiser's 18, from what I recall, I think the last time I had it was four or five years ago. The Weiser's 18 is a lot softer, gentler, less spicy, and one could argue smoother, but this is very smooth. It's very smooth, it's very watery, but there are a lot of flavors there on the palate. And there's quite a bit on the nose too. That spicy rye. Well, I like this very much and I will drink to your very good health. Cheers. Food quick. 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 Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>